Hello, my brothers and sisters, and here we are again showcasing a certified thief. That's right, this thug is arresting citizens by day and robbing casinos by night. Lovely. With an annual salary of $78,000 as a police officer, on his off hours, he throws sport book workers to the ground and threatens to kill them. And nothing beats that strategic police academy training to make these thugs be all that they can be. And the justice system fails again. Check it out. State, are you seeking out bail or any other conditions? We are, Your Honor. Your Honor, you look at this defendant, I look at his NPR, he comes back as a, a one, meaning low risk. However, I think it failed to take into account the amount of training he's received in defensive taxes and investigations and in law enforcement. The fact that the defendant in this case has been trained as a police officer at the expense of the county and has betrayed that trust by engaging in criminal conduct. Additionally, Your Honor, what it doesn't take into account is the fact that there are two other robberies of casinos, Aliante and Red Rock, which have similar MOs, similar walking, appears to be the same person that Metro's currently investigating, is in danger to this community with that type of training and knowledge. We're asking that bail be set at $250,000. If he makes it, be placed in high level monitoring, be ordered to have no, no weapons in his possession during the pendency of this case and be ordered out of the resort corridor. Okay, let me ask you, for me, um, yes, ma'am. You indicated he's a subject of other investigations for Alliance and Red Rock. What's the time frame of those? They did not get that information. I was just impressing him to you, Mr. Lolly. They were uh, contemporaneous, not like the same week, but they were okay. Same close in time. Close in time. Additionally, I wanted to let the court know that there was one charge on here where it was assault with a deadly weapon for the uh, corrections office or the. Uh, security guard, and if you look at that, it's really an attempt to robbery with use of a deadly weapon, and that's the charge that will come forth, so. Okay, or perhaps in the alternative. Do you know if, and I know you don't have a lot of information about the others, if those, like you said, the same in if those involved allegedly the use of a firearm? That's my understanding, but I, I don't have all those details right here. Okay, thank you, counsel. Judge, I'm asking to get his release on high-level electronic monitoring. He's a seven-year resident of the jurisdiction. He's a college graduate. I understand um, that he is an officer on uh, administrative leave right now, but he's always maintained stable employment. Prior to being an officer, he worked um, in EMS. So he's continued, he's always maintained stable employment and is likely to find new employment, hopefully, if at least he has support in the community in the form of his ex-wife and girlfriend, and he does support a child age four. He has no criminal history at this point. There's no convictions, no failures to appear. He is a one-point score on the NPR coming in at a low risk. I do think that there are things that anchor him to this community, such as his child. Uh, he's going to return to court. There's nothing in the NPR to suggest that he won't return to court. So I'm confident that he will come back to court. As far as satisfying the goals of this court, making sure he comes back, I think I've outlined why he will return to court, but also danger to the community, protecting the community. I think that there are things in place that we can um, put here that are going to establish that he um, that are going to function as making sure the community stays safe. So what I'm asking for is electronic monitoring, I'm asking for no weapons, and I'm also asking for uh, no trips to the casino. So specifically, I ask for a stay away order um, from the strip corridor if that needs to extend to other casinos and other jurisdictions that have no problem with that. As far as bail is concerned, if the court is Needing further assurances regarding bail, there's not a financial affidavit, but I did speak with him regarding his finances. I'd ask that any bail not exceed $20,000. A $250,000 bail is, quite honestly, I think, ridiculous. I think that is going to be so high that this individual is not going to be able to make any bail. That's going to just be prolonged detention, uh, de facto detention. So I'm asking if the court's going to set a bail that it be reasonable, and I think a reasonable amount would be not to exceed $20,000. Thank you for your argument, Council. Um, I do recognize on the NPR he is a one, and no surprise there based on his employment with law enforcement, being that he does not have prior uh, contact with the police on this end of it. Um, I'm looking at his failure to come back to court, risk thereof, of that, as well as the dangerousness. And I think I, for this particular case, um, I can't overlook, and I won't overlook 
be a credible danger posed to these two, specifically female sportsbook workers, where one of them at least, he uh, pushed her to the ground. Throughout this event, he was brandishing a firearm, threatening multiple people on multiple occasions that he will shoot them, that he has a gun. One of the security officers indicated during his pursuit, um, this particular individual had his finger on the trigger, began saying, are you willing to be shot over this? I'm going to shoot you. I think that um, obviously there's probably something going on here with uh, Mr. Rogers to compel him to act in this way, having a stable job. Um, I think hopefully that can get looked at and you can get some resources as it relates to that. But I do think he's a danger based on the actions in this case, bringing the firearm in, brandishing it multiple times, pulling it about out of his waistband a second time to confront the security guard who's trying to stop him from making out with his over $78,000. Um, indicated that bail, a bail setting of 250000 would be ridiculous. I tend to disagree based on the dangerousness posed uh, by Mr. Rogers. I think the burden has been established by the state. And uh, very fortunate nobody was hurt worse than um, what occurred in this case. And so based on the fact that the state's met their burden on the set bail amount of $250,000.